welcome to our myself professor deshmukh ms presenting the third lectures based on b subject that is dynamic compass theory i mean the topic that is pre vibrations so what exactly pre vibrations where it is exist that we have to see in this uh, presentation now the pre vibrations look one of the shaft is connected to the fixed support and when we are applying or giving some initial movement the body gets vibrate in to and fro motions that the case we are having the free vibrations now look at this condition at the top moment we are seeing some dotted lines that is the uh, one of the positions and the same at exist at the below line so means what there is a two and fro motions of the body in the free vibrations now the terms used in the vibratory motions what are the terms related with the vibration or you can say free vibrations period of vibrations all the time period you have to consider the what kind of period that we that where it vibrates then cycles how many number of cycles that we have to consider again third one that is frequency frequency is what it is a number of cycles per unit time that is called as what frequency as a very simple so that we have to consider as a term in the case of the vibratory system Now, what are the types of vibratory motions? There are in the three types. That is the free or natural vibrations. Then again, forced vibration and damp vibration. That is free or natural vibrations and forced vibrations. Free or natural vibrations. Then again, forced and again, damp vibration. These are the types of vibratory motions. Look at these types of free vibrations. First, that is longitudinal vibration. Then again, transverse vibration. Then again, torsional vibrations. so what happen in the case of the long tunnel vibrations there is a the vibrations along the length of shaft or length of body that is called as what long tunnel vibrations look at this from a b c in the first case that is in upward direction downward direction so it is called as what long tunnel vibrations then again transverse vibrations transverse vibration is quite simple again what are the vibrations of the body is perpendicular to the longitudinal vibrations that is called as transverse vibrations or or you can say that the vibrations along the transverse directions that is perpendicular to the longitudinal vibration that is called as what the transverse vibrations and the last one that is torsional when the body get twisted about the longitudinal axis when body get twisted about the longitudinal axis that is called as what torsional vibrations b indicate the mean positions that is the original positions and a and c showing the extreme positions that is the to and fro motions positions now the yield effect of the vibrations what are the effect of these vibrations accuracy of the parts machines in the vibrating machines excessive vibrations at the resonance okay condition may lead to complete failure of the part so this lead to an complete failure then again vibration of the vibration lasting for the small interval of time may cause the several damage to the structural earthquake or explosions Now the harmless continuous vibrations over a long period of may result in a faulty failure. So the failure is observed to all types of components, small, large, valve, valve, spring, crankshaft, and automobile to the elevator of aeroplane or even a large draw bridges. Now then again, excessive vibrations of passengers' vehicle. Then again, vibration of the cockpit of aeroplane 
they like an excessive vibrations of handheld machines may damage human tissues several operation jolting of trackers tractors or the earth they are again moving equipment may result in the spinal cord so these are the examples we can say that now useful of the vibrations where it is useful or desirable means what the cases where the vibration is required so what is that that is vibration conveyor then again vibration conveyor then again impactors then again non restrictive to testings or the crack discussions then again vibrator is sieves then in the medical sectors imaging on internal organs tooth cleaning hip heart beat music instruments and time keeping instruments so these are the uh, useful means of vibration means what these are the conditions where vibration is required the different special applications once again i am just revising the vibration conveyors impactors non destructive testing crack discussions then again vibratory issues then again mechanical uh, rather than mechanical that is a medical applications then again imaging of internal organs then again tooth cleaning then again the heart beat then again music instrument then again time keeping instruments so these are the case okay now and for an any uh, system to be vibrate we need a mass m elasticity k okay that is a simple case these are two things is required in order to any body to be vibrate now what are the sources of vibrations where it exists the shaft running at the at a near critical speed misalignment and bend shaft damage rolling element okay balls rollers etc fluid fluid flow that is a turbulence and cavitations then again damage and worn out gears then again fault belt drives then again oil film wheel or wheel five in general then again impact then again electrically induced vibrations so these are the sources of vibrations where it exists now that i have the the natural frequency of free vibrations that is the equilibrium method then again energy method and rayleigh method these are the three, three methods these are the three methods that we will see in in the next para so that it will be harris okay so these are the three Uh, methods that are required in the case of the parameters